Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. I'm playing Strider. This is, of course, the famous Capcom arcade game. This is the version of it released on the Sega Mega Drive, later released on the Wii Virtual Console. I'm pretty sure it's, you know, pretty close to being an arcade perfect conversion. Okay, let's start. You see this? This is back when games knew to be simple. I haven't seen something this simple since the title screen of Nier. <laughs> okay. So the year is 2048, and this fellow here is embarking on a journey to save the world from that evil guy we just saw a moment ago by going to Kazakhstan. Now, if my understanding of the story is correct... Hey, hey! Why aren't these guys using guns? They're v it's very odd, they appear to only have bayonets. Oh, a jump, huh? Well, as you can see, he's a pretty agile guy! Flipping like that in midair. You'd think that would, like, be not good. What was that? Oh, it's another robot or something? Oh. I'm kind of not sure what's going on. He seems to be flipping around a lot. Oh, is there a time? Yeah, there is a time limit. So if I suppose if I do this correctly, there shouldn't be much, uh... Are they is that like a little Russian robot wearing some kind of, like, Turkic looking hat? Why? Wait, what? How am I supposed to dodge those drills? I Well, I think this is gonna go something like Act Razor. I'm gonna be really, really bad at it. You see, I was hoping to have fun with the idea of a ninja fighting in Kazakhstan. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why in 20 years would the world be ruled from a capital in Kazakhstan? I'm sorry, what just happened? Was a screaming, shirtless, blonde man just toss the Strider into the wall and he exploded? Yeah, you better believe I want to continue. That's crazy! So, we know that this is... Is he like that robot from that one Rocky movie? Is he dead? Wait, what? Wait, wait what just happened? Why did fire fall down? What does that have to do with beating this shirtless Russian man? Why is the world being ruled from Kazakhstan? Why would the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic, which I think it still was when this game was originally made, why would that... Kanji? Why would that... rule the world? I just, it just seems a little implausible to me. Especially if they, if the, you know, this evil dictator isn't even able to properly have soldiers with guns. They just have bayonets. Doesn't make a lick of Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, what is that? Was that a spider droid? There's a spider droid on top of the- on the roof of this Kremlin-looking building? Why? Well, there it goes. I have to say, they do have some impressive-looking robots in 20 years. Yeah, there it goes. We just need to let it pass by. Oh, it missed. All right. You know, he's actually a pretty athletic guy when you get down to it, running around on roofs like this. Huh? Oh, hi guys. You, you want something? You, guys? Guys? Well, whatever. They've been blown away. They're pretty, actually, what weapon is he using? I assume it's a sword, but could a sword really take out robots that easily? Here, here's another enemy robot. Not entirely sure what it was. Did it have... Was it like a one-eyed thing? I guess that seal above us is the seal of the enemy. Now what? Oh! Wh wait, what? What just killed him? I have a feeling this entire thing is going to be... Confused exclamations like this. My... I think that our Strider here just blew up the wall to get into here. And he takes out this robot. And then... He falls down here, 
into a guy with a machine gun, I think. I think that's what that was. I think these uh, little packets here are give us items. Now, what these items are, I'm not entirely sure. Is that a... Oh, it's a weapons upgrade. So we really are using a sword. Oh, hello, Soviet officials. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They aren't Soviet officials at all, they're robots! Here I was thinking that we were walking into, you know, the Duma or some... Or the Duma was pre-Soviet. Into, you know, par into some kind of parliament. And then... They all leap up and turn into a centipede demon robot. Ha, ah, typical, isn't it? Wait, it's, wait, it's just wielding scythes? I get that it makes it look kind of like a praying mantis or something, but is that like an intent? Is it supposed to be like, because they're communists and they're symbolized by a scythe and a sickle? Okay, so I guess we killed the official. Oh, hello? Well, there's the master. Okay, so he's here, you. I guess you're t talking to the master? You're saying, don't worry, master, I got you. We're not gonna let him get out of Eurasia. We're gonna send wild wolves after him. Actually, wolves are a bit of a problem in, um, you know, they can be a problem in some areas in, like, rural Kazakhstan. Are we still in Central Asia? Are we in Russia now? I don't know, but there sure are a lot of wolves here. I'm sorry, what is this thing that just came down here? Is this, are they trying to keep us out with this door? Hiru, why aren't you climbing it? You're a strider, you climb things. I think he does. Did, did I miss my chance to go through? Because as powerful as our weapon is, it can cut through aerial attack, you know, it can take down drones and kill wolves in like one hit, but not knock down a, this door? I mean, this must be a very reinforced door. Oh, wait, there we go! Oh. Okay. I'm sure that some people will see this, and they just have this- they have Strider memorized. They'll think it's absurd that old mackerel phones- mackerel phones, they'll say, How do you not know where everything is already? And I say, because I have never played this before. Well, that's not quite true. I played it a little bit to figure out the controls before doing this. I mean, I know there are only, like, two buttons, but- Well, three buttons, because there's the start button. I guess I just want to be sure about these things. Well, we did not hold up against the wolves as nicely that time. You know, his he walks around at this brisk clip that's apparently fast enough to outpace wolves. I'm surprised by that. I would not think that a human could outpace a, a wolf. You know, I don't think we need to send a robot-wielding bounty hunter guy with a machine gun. I'm pretty sure that these wolves are already pretty good competition for for Strider hear you. Well, anyway, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think that in 20 years, the uh, capital of the world, well, first of all, that there will be a capital of the world, and that it will be in Kazakhstan? I'd say yes. Kazakhstan's an up-and-coming country. So it looked like I just had to hit this for a long time and it eventually broke, right? That seemed to be what happened. See, there we go. Okay, now we're getting, now we're making, now we're making some progress here. What even is this thing? Well, whatever, we got, I'm sorry, what? Once again, why does this thing not use guns? Why is it? What are, what are they thinking? Like, why would they build a giant robot gorilla? That doesn't even suit... That doesn't even have anything to do with Central Asia! Why does the villain have red claws and wear a cloak like Nightmare from Kirby? Why... Oh, I ran out of continues. Um, I'll try one more time. Actually, yeah, options. What are my options? Okay, easy, that's for sure. So he sees, we see Strider hear you cutting down the cloaked villain. You know, it's a beautiful scene up here, the moon shining in the sky. Okay, and now more of these flying robots, or I'm sorry? Oh, I guess we're already inside? 
It's the eyeball robot again. It's a very impressive light show it puts on, although it's not very good as a security apparatus, I'm afraid. I'm kidding, of course. I'm not afraid at all. I like that it's not. That's what we want, because we need to liberate the world through violent revolution. Although the communists initially claimed that they were going to overthrow the old, uh, the old order of... Z See? How can you dodge that? How can... Is there any way to not directly fall into that guy's, you know, gunfire? Well, anyway, the communists said that they were going to liberate the world from the czars and dictators, and instead they ended up just carrying on that tradition. They themselves became the new czars. It's like in the end of Animal Farm, when the animals look from the people to the pigs, and they can no longer tell which is which. Okay, so we walk into this room where the council is deliberating, and then it turns out they're a bunch of... Robots. He hello? Are you... where... C could you... could you come back, please? This is not the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen, him walking on there trying to slice at it like that. But it's up there. Okay, okay, and so now, these characters we see here... I suppose that's the Master's Lieutenant. He has the seal of the Master on his collar. And there's the Master himself, dressed as dictators are wont to dress in cloaks that obscure their faces. And then we have this guy saying, I got you, who is, I suppose, a robot or soldier or bounty hunter or something that the Master is sending after Strider hear you. I just think that's interesting. We, we have a cold open and don't get the story at all until the second stage, when when it turns out that, that the character's name is Hiryu, and that the Master is trying, he's, he's fighting the Master, and the Master is going, coming after him. And the Master is building giant robotic gorillas in, in the middle of, of the Siberian wilderness. Hey, hey guys, quick, guys, could you... I gotta kill it, I gotta exterminate an entire pack of wolves, it's like near all over again. Not really, but, you know. I can't think of too many other video games where you exterminate packs of wolves. You done? No, no! Come on. The longer we stay out here, okay, we got into the garage where this thing is. I don't think we can beat it, I think we have to drive it back. Nope, we didn't quite drive it back. Or we did, but not far enough. Oh darn, there's not a checkpoint when we finally get through the door. Could you, could you, could you guys knock it off? Seriously? You, these things are relentless. They're like leeches. Except they're wolves. So really nothing like leeches. You know, that little pack we got on top of that ice thing? I really wish it contained some health instead of, you know, what we did get here. Okay, and see, now there are no wolves coming. Why not? What happened? What, what's different this time? Strider is truly full of mysteries. How did Kazakhstan become the capital of the... ...of the world? Now, admittedly, this is probably a pretty realistic depiction of what would happen if a guy tried to single-handedly fight a giant gorilla robot with a sword. Okay, so now we have the mech gorilla. See, what just happened? It didn't shoot anything at him. It didn't hit him. It sort of waved its fist near him, and then he lost some health. Like, what is it doing? Is it supposed to be hitting him? Is it slapping him? Is it shooting something at him, but the, like, the, the projectile just isn't showing yet? Because, like, th there isn't room? Because as soon as the projectile fires, it's already in contact with his body? I... don't know! And is this really how you're supposed to get through the gate? He just... So imagine writing this in a book, and then Ryu... then he... I'm forgetting his name already, Hear You. Then Hear You stood there for like 20 seconds, wailing away at the gate with his sword until he got through the gate. Okay, I see, so it attacks low, then it attacks high, I see. So there it is attacking low, and there it is attacking high, I see. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry about this. I didn't realize that I would be... that it would be the robot... Okay, yeah, um... Hey, hold on. Look at these sound select things. 
Let's see, defense line. Oh, I see, it's music. They have raid. Mosque the Cold Hearted. I like the sounds of this one. Very weird. Wait, was, was he breaking into a mosque? I don't know. Yeah, Ouroboros, the Iron Ruler, Siberian Tunnel, Driving Wheel, Big Run, F Fujin, Capture. I just don't get it. This sounds so cool. Why is it so hard? Well, it's not my kind of thing, I guess. But hold on. I'll set it to easy. I'll give myself five players, which I assume is lives. Maybe this will let me get a little further than the Mech Gorilla. It could be. It's possible. I wouldn't discount the possibility. I'm really kind of baffled. This entire thing is... I mean, I know that the games from this period tend to have this kind of, like, random nonsense being made up as they go along quality to them. But it's just sort of... You know, it's fascinating from from my modern-day video game guy perspective. Really, why am I... Is there something I'm missing here? Like, is this really how they would design it? Why would you think to just keep wailing at it? I mean, I guess I thought to keep wailing at it, didn't I? You know what? I... Okay, that's it. You know what? You can't tell, but it's paused. I am going to look this up and see what the heck... I just want to see what's past the gorilla. I understand at this point, I will never get to the end of this, okay? This is way outside of my league. Okay, I found a walkthrough. Interestingly, according to this walkthrough, the master is actually supposed to be an alien. So, it's a story about alien invaders from space who apparently take out 80% of the life on planet Earth. Except the wolves, I see. Now, this frankly strikes me as ridiculous, especially the way they present it. They say the Striders are an organization that strives for justice, and they have, like, their headquarters in the Pacific or something? And it's, the way it describes it, it's like, well, then there are news reports that 80% of all life on the world was wiped out by aliens. And this is said that these reports reached the Striders. So, an organization that's devoted to monitoring justice around the world didn't notice the world was destroyed until they saw it in the news? Like, that's how they found out about it? Are they that cut off from everything? How the hell are they supposed to be keeping track of fighting for justice in the world if they're that cut off from everything? There's so many things here that just don't make any sense. I mean, can you imagine if this was like a movie? It would be like the most hilariously stupid thing. In any case though, so as this walkthrough says, this robot gorilla I have not been able to beat is the easy, is in quote, incredibly easy. And you just literally have to walk forward and just attack and don't stop attacking, is all it said. Wait. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I... W oh. Well, I mean, it, I feel like I'm having a fever dream or something. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, so... There's an evil alien who is enlisted the help of, like, Soviet-looking officials who comes from space. What the? Oh, I see, it was the one... Whatever. And he comes from space, and... Now we're in Siberia fighting wolves and his giant robot gorilla. Yeah, so as it turns out, it really is incredibly easy. I just didn't follow the time-honored strategy of just wailing away at it until something happened. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I don't really know how to dodge that. Maybe there's some way I could have cut it off? Pro probably Oh, wait, yeah, that's what I should have done. Oh! Checkpoint! Good! So this is the factory the Mech Gorilla was guarding. Once again, though, why are these guys using... Why do they have guns, but don't use... I don't know. How do I... Well, where do I go? No! Damn it! Are you... 
God! Was there some way to get through the stairs? Probably. I just probably forgetting to like press one button one time or something. Is that an oil pump? Well, in any case... Yeah, it's not letting me go through here. So... Is there... Hold on. Oh, okay, so I see. The guys with bayonets do actually have guns this time. Like, they're... Like, they... Are, that's not right. They're actually firing their guns this time. Is this one different? Is there something I can press or something? What... what? What, what, what is this? Is this where they're manufacturing power-ups? Oh wait, we have four health bars now. Oh, that's good. That'd really help if we could just... I think maybe we just need to go up there? I think? I don't know how to get up... No! What? No! This is... I feel like I'm controlling like a monkey who's just flailing madly around. Probably because that's what he basically is under, you know, under my control. Okay, there we go. See, I could have gotten through there in seconds. Oh, here's the guy who's, who will handle it. He has a lot of firepower, don't he? Well, we just need to kill him. Where is he? Hello? Oh, hey! Okay. Uh... Our goal, then, is just get through here as fast as possible before we begin losing all our health here. S sounds doable. It sounds doable, doesn't it? It sure sounds that way. In reality, though, I'm not gonna pull it off. Okay, so dodge that. Go up here. Good. Go okay, no! Ugh. This is just like the whole thing is... Well, really, it is like a fever dream or something. I mean, this to me is just like surreal! No! Go okay, good. We're at full health. We don't have the extra health bar, but just take him out. Take out the take out the robot bounty hunter guy. If only there were a save system, I might be able to complete this. Then it wouldn't feel like all my effort was completely for naught. That's what it feels like when you have something like this and you can't save. Okay. I think he's over there. I'm not sure because I can't see him. There he is. Hello? Hello? Where? Oh, there he is. Okay, he didn't end up being nearly all that tough after all. Uh-oh. Pick up a run, pick up a run, we're like Sonic! No wonder this was released on the Sega Genesis. Alright. Well, we, uh, took down the guy they sent after us, who turns out not to have been so tough at all. Oh. That's an interesting thing. Okay, we just gotta not get shocked by lightning, which I see shoot out of these lasers that they have... Or it's not lightning, I'm sorry, it's just electricity. Is there any perp- Uh... What purpose do these turrets that shoot out electricity have? Why did they put them in here? What is this building? Is this like a power plant? Why is there a thunderstorm going on at the same time? Is, the, is this thing is active? What was that? Was, is that like a bird mech? Is it a mech or is it Magitech armor? It kind of looks like Magitech armor. God, the wolves come from both sides. That was, that's why they're dangerous. Okay, I walked right into that one. That one was my fault. Or more than my, my, more my fault than usual, I mean. These wolves are stubborn. See, like, what is this? Well, whatever. Oh, is that an extra life? Get it! Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, I took that one out. Um. Gonna be, yeah. There are a number of them here. What? I guess I can attack them through the platforms, and they can attack me through the platforms. It's the circle of life. So, okay, admittedly the master being an alien would explain some of his odder features, like always going around in that cloak. Okay, no extra, no more extra lies. You know, like always going around in that cloak and 
building all having access to all these advanced robots i mean i don't know maybe these are just normal earth robots in the year that for in you know 20 years i don't know i'm not no all the way back okay what the heck what was that did i just take down like a, a something that transports cargo i think so where am i trying to get to onto it yeah i guess so. oh oh no it's an enemy transport craft i should have known wait if there are multiple striders because he comes from an organization of people called the striders why is there only him shouldn't the other striders be you know helping him you'd think where are they are they like attacking other areas around the world because i mean i'm sorry to say but they have the might of an alien race that could that exterminated all life on Earth, or 80% of it, I mean, and that's their enemy. Like, I'm sorry, they're not gonna, they're not going to beat that. You don't beat people who've already exterminated most of, like, they've already won. It sounds like. And why am I, like, I'm having him jump, but he's not. Oh, there we go. He, now he's moving forward. Oh. You see, why do the mechs not shoot? I mean, I'm glad they don't. But why would the master design attack robots that don't have guns? Why? Okay, you know what? That's enough Strider. I think I'm gonna, like, get an ulcer if I keep trying to do this. Um. Uh. There, that was my intersection with this piece of Capcom history. It's been macrophones, everybody. I, I, and in 20 years, I don't think the world's gonna look like this. But we'll see. Maybe I'll eat my words once Strider Hear You is saving us all from the Master. Or not all of us. Most of us will be dead by this point, because we'll all have been killed by the Master. <laughs>